What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. We have another trending news for you today, and the headline here read: Punch newspaper vows to address Bari as major general. All right, before I proceed with today's news, please, if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel, there's a red subscribe button below this video now. Just go ahead, hit that red subscribe button now, then click the bell icon beside it to stay updated whenever we publish news like this without you missing any news again. All right, now the news in details. The entire country and global audience are rightly scandalized by the unfolding saga over Omoyele Showare and the unruliness of the SSS and the government. But it is only a pattern, a reflection of the serial disregard of Buhari regime for human rights and the battering of other arms of government and our democratic institution. Punch views this tendency and its recent escalation with serious concern. Knowing as the great thinker Edmund Bokes said, the only necessary the only thing necessary for triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. Nigeria had a throat Nigeria had thrown a path, a veritable obstacle course where repression, especially under the military, Jack Boot was a malignant presence and this attracted heroic resistance by ordinary people civil society groups and the press but nigerians have lately become lethargic divided by ethnic and sectarian sentiments weakened by right widespread poverty brought on by the rapacious political class and bad governance punch will not adopt the self-defeating attitude of many nigerians looking the other way after each violation of rights and attacks on the citizens the courts, the press, and the civic society, including said determination group, lawfully exercising their inalienable right to peaceful dissent. This regime's action and assault on the courts, disobedience of court orders, and arbitrary detention of citizens reflect a true character of the martial culture. Major General Buari, retired, ran a ham fisted military junta in 1984 to 1985 and old habit obviously runs deep until he and his repressive regime purge themselves of their martial tendency therefore punch will not be a party to false adorning with with a democratic rule. hence our decision to label it for what it is an autocratic military style regime run by major general Muhammad Buhari retired. Shawore's travel are symptomatic, having ignored court orders granting him bail. The SSS, after much pressure following 125 days in captivity, released him only to stage a gestapo style raid on the court where the journalist was standing trial. The leader of the Islamic movement in Nigeria, Ibrahim El Zazaki, and his wife have spent over three years in detention in violation of court orders granting them bail and ordering their release. A former national security advisor, Sambo Dasuki, has been held in detention since 2015 in defiance of several court orders, including one by the ECOWAS Appellate Court that declared his continued incarceration illegal. Under Buari, the SSS have become a monstrous, repressive, secret police, acting often with impunity. Buari bears responsibility for the state of repression because, as a president, he can stop it today. But the SSS is not alone. The Nigerian police, whose notoriety predate Buari's second coming, has continued his serial abuse of human rights, and is ever available to officials who routinely deploy police officers from mundane abuse of siren in traffic to arbitrary arrest and torture of victims. The police and military fail to understand that peaceful agitation and the right to associate are fundamental rights. This situation is eerily familiar as military head of state Buari appointed Buari appointee who headed the National Security Organization as the SSS was then known as Lawal Rafindadi. 
He unleashed a reign of terror on Nigerians featuring arbitrary arrests and torture in cells described by inmates as chambers of terror. Under the infamous decree, two agents had a pre-signed detention papers, court orders were ignored, and austere, and austere clauses were inserted in decrees while the price was significantly and specifically targeted with the infamous decree for under which Tunde Thompson and Duka Irabo were jailed. Returning as an elected president, Buari has followed the same template, appointing Lawal Daura as director of DSS, who reenacted the Rafindadi playbook by his treatment of Dazuki and El Zazaki, among others, raided the homes of judges and twice deployed armed SSS heavies to fall the arrest of two former security chiefs by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. Nigerian Navy authorities similarly ignored court orders to release Navy Captain Dado Labinjo, who they detained for over a year until his recent release on bail. Nigerian Army too detained suspects intermittently on the ground of being a terrorism suspect. Some governors have borrowed from this nefarious model, deploying security agents and perverting the rule of law to punish critics and journalists. Critics Dadiata Idris and Stephen Kefas have been arrested and arraigned. Agba Jalingo is facing a treason charge for offending the Cross River State Government. Jose Abiri, a local publisher in Bayelsa State, has been charged with terrorism while in Delta State, two journalists are facing criminal defamation charges. The regime's information and culture minister, Lai Mohamed, forgetting how, as opposition spokesman in 2014, he was harassed by the SSS and accused of loitering, has been vigorously pressing for anti-hate speech law to restrict the social media. Abdullah Isabi, a senator along with others, has represented a hate speech law, a hate speech bill. Their sole purpose is to insulate officials from criticism and compel unquestioned acceptance of Bari Draconian misrule. Under the law, suspects cannot be held beyond 48 hours except by a court order, but the regime observed this in the breach. Sorry, the regime observe this in the breach, yet Nigeria is a signatory to United Nations Declaration of Human Rights, African Charter on Human Rights and People's Rights, and the Convention Against Torture and Other Cruel, Inhumane, Degrading Treatment, and Other Treaties Guaranteeing Fundamental Rights. The 1999 Constitution also spell out basic rights, but the regime chooses which right or court orders to respect or obey. This is unacceptable. Critical segments of the society have been assaulted, silenced, or compromised. It is time, as Nobel laureate Wale Soinka has strongly advocated, for civil society to rejuvenate itself and send the message to Buari, reign in his white dog of his obedience. From the United States has come a message from the Department of State two senators and Congress telling the Buari regime to stop it, shocking affront to the rule of law, reminding the general that respect for the rule of law, judicial independence, political media reform, and due process are key to the tenet of democracy. Nigeria has had more than its fair share of draconian rulers, whether in military or civil gap, but none has succeeded in breaking our resilience and irrepressible spirit. This regime will not prove to be an exception. Nigeria and Nigerians will overcome. The strong desire of our people to enjoy the unfettered freedom guaranteed by the Constitution and the rule of law, including the freedom to speak freely and assemble peacefully, will again outlive, outlast, and crush the spirit of despotism. Bari can still redeem himself and his out of control security agent and reclaim his past facade of tolerance. When Daura brazenly inserted himself in, in, in politics, 
by recklessly sending armed marks SSS officers to besiege the National Assembly as acting president, vice president Yemi Osibanjo promptly sacked him and had him arrested. Buhari should similarly distance himself from his regime from the lawlessness and impunity of the current SSS Director General Yusuf Bichi by dismissing him, ordering the release of all victims of illegal detention and compelling obedience to court orders. The SSS has not been efficient in war against terror. It should perform its primary role to safeguard the country as a product of statute. Its, loyal, its loyalty should be to the country, not to the temporary occupiers of public office. The regime's repression cannot succeed but will further polarize the society and weaken national cohesion. The Nigerian Bar Association has vowed to defend the sanctity of judicial authority, while Soyinka has warned that disregard for court order could beget desperation and civil disobedience. Nigerians need to stop their supine acquiescence to oppression and learn to stand up for their rights as many others are doing around the world, using all peaceful and legal means, including the right to protest or peaceful assembly. It is Dazuki, is it Dazuki, Elzazaki, Sheware, or other? Today, who knows who is next if the repression is not resisted? All right, guys, uh, this is a punch. Punch newspaper actually coming out. They have labeled Buari, President Buari, as General Buari. He is no longer tagged or addressed as a president again. That's why the fact that this is a democratically elected government. Though a lot of people actually um, suspect that the election was rigged, that Buari is not supposed to be the person in power. It was supposed to be Atiku. Okay, but what Punch is doing today, this is a heroic act. You get, these guys have come out, have understudied Buari regime, and discovered that Buari is a lawless president. You get, he doesn't obey rule of law. And as I'm talking to you, as of today, the European Union have written to Buari, and they have told Buari that we are watching every step of what the federal government is doing as per to the rule of law. That they caution the president to obey the rule of law, and that is to release Shawore and other political detainees. That's what the European Union have said. I'm going to do a video on that after uh, this. So you see that there is pressure mounting from all corners from around the world. The United States senators are beginning to um, rally around their, their, their colleague. You get to actually do what slam sanction on Nigeria. What they want to do, they want to get the Congress to actually ask Donald Trump to slam sanctions on Nigeria. That's what they want to do. So, United Kingdom, as of yesterday, UK, you get through their high commissioner in Nigeria, have asked Buari to immediately release Shawore. So, this is beginning to spiral out of control, and this is going to spell doom for Nigeria because when once sanctions begin to come in, Nigerians, Nigerian economy that is trying to thrive will totally be polarized. So, what do you guys think? Do you think that what Punch is doing is commendable? Do, don't you think that this oppressive regime you get will go after Punch? Already, as I'm speaking to you now, as of today, Buari have removed, in fact, as a rock, have 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 dispelled one of punch correspondent from Aso Rock. They've removed him so he cannot cover any event going on in Aso Rock. You get so that is to show you how repressive this regime is. So and another one again, another online uh, um, um newspaper publication have also tagged Buari a dictator. So a lot of people are coming out now. So the fight is getting even more interesting now. The fight for freedom, the fight for democracy is becoming more interesting now. So, But what do you guys think? I want to drop your video. So I want to drop your comment. Let me know what you actually think. The federal government, as I'm talking to you, they have frozen the account of Sahara reporters. Now, Sahara reporters are finding it difficult to do their day-to-day -day running, you know, me, even paying of staff. Their administrative and, uh, and uh, operational expenses, they are finding it difficult to meet it. Their director is in cell, I mean, he's in prison with the DSS. I'm referring to Omoyele Showare. 
you get so now punch have joined other newspapers are going to join as well this is not going to be good for the government Buhari's government may be shut down and who knows what's going to happen who knows what the revolution we are waiting for may take place you understand me after this time out i want you guys to drop your comment let me know what you actually think this is emma tv god bless you all